Alan. I'm Brad. I'm DJ. I'm Tanner. I'm Boyd. I'm, I'm Brad. Uh, this project started out as my solo project about two years ago, and um, some friends heard it and they were like, why aren't you actually trying to do this as a band? It'd be cool, it'd be fun. So I found some friends to play live, and then um, we just kind of kept going and going, and then uh, a bunch of my friends moved, and then I was like, all right, well, I'm done with what looks like crazy, and I was going, we were like supposed to break up, and then Ford uh, was like, hey, let's not break up, like, me and you will do it, and we'll find new band members. And so then, uh, randomly, on Brad's 21st birthday, we ran into each other at a bar, <laughs> and uh, I've actually known Brad since high school, but I hadn't seen him in a while, and uh, I was like, hey man, happy birthday, how you doing, what have you been up to, and he was like, oh, you know, I've been doing this, what have you been up to, and I was like, oh, I've been doing this, and doing this band, we're looking for people to play, and he was like, I play guitar and I sing, and I was like, well, what a coincidence, we need somebody that can play guitar and sing. And so I dragged him out into my car after his birthday shot and uh, made him listen to our new single, Girl Crazy, before we released it. And he looked at me and he said, I want in. And so we were like, cool. And then we, uh, I've known Alan for a really long time too. And we uh, kind of, he just like, hit me up and he was like, hey, do you need a guitar player? And I was like, yeah, actually we could really use a lead guitar player. And um, Ford plays bass, by the way, so we already had that taken care of. And the part about meeting Tanner on ChristianMingle.com is actually true. So that <laughs> we met our drummer, Tanner. Um, and the very first thing that he said to us was, Man, I'm so glad that y'all love some Jesus. No, the exact words are 16 slash M slash Jesus slash. It's written about a lot of specific girls. Um, I can't disclose their names, but there was a lot of girls that I was really into at one time, and um, they all kind of drove me a little crazy, and I wrote some lyrics about it. <laughs> I've done a lot of acoustic in-home performances. Um, our favorite of those... Probably the last show. Yeah, I mean, our, our favorite show, like, as a full band, is definitely our last show with Go Radio, Tyler Carter, and this Providence at the Jewish Mother of Virginia Beach. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of people there. Uh, I think everyone received it really well, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, it was the first time that I think all of us could actually hear ourselves on stage, so that was really nice. And we played a new song. And we played a new song, and I think people liked it. Um, like don't, don't say Lil Wayne. I did. I would say Lil Wayne. But, <laughs> all right. Well, they said like, not to. I can um, like what else Chris Brown, maybe. That'd be cool. <laughs> that wasn't. One of those. <laughs> Mine would be uh, Demi Lovato. Um, I would love to collaborate with Justin Timberlake. That's a good one. You go first. I don't know. Do you saying. know who I'm gonna say? I don't. Oh, you want to say Dewey Cox? Of course, Dewey Cox. <laughs> <Dewey Cox. laughs> Um, really though, probably Michael Jackson, if he was Ooh. still alive. That's a super good one. <laughs> I'd say it amazing. I'd say <laughs> No, I would say <laughs> Like I really like the songs that like when like Bring Me the Horizon and You Me at Six when they like switch like out when they get like help each other out on albums, I think that's cool. So something like that, something like out of our genre, I think would be cool. But that's what I like. So I don't know a specific person, but we'll say Ali Sykes. I, I agree with Ali Sykes. We'll say that. I think that'd be very interesting. Yeah, it would work though really well. You can see that right now. But that'd be cool. Yeah. So those are all the people that we <laughs> like to collaborate with. Everything really, in my opinion. I was shopping at Walmart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That to buy, was a, to buy a that was a situation. Eat at Mexican restaurants. Uh, <laughs> watch for throw up. Poop and throw up at the same time. <laughs> I think um, one thing that we're going to do is going to love is just being to, in a close space with each other. 
while me and Brad argue over the dumbness of any sentence. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna love the that. The dumbness. The dumbness. <laughs> I guess that word. Yeah, I think that that's, no. that's actually. If the you haven't word. picked up yet, Tanner has a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> dumbness is not an impediment. That was, I guess couldn't think. Ols. So. Okay, I have a. I have an accent. He's just lazy. <laughs> I have an accent, and I, I pronounce words yeah, like code. code. Like I'm very code. I told you. That's supposed to be cold, by yeah. the way. That was rad. <laughs> that really was sweet. I actually fell asleep. He was like, screaming at people. And yeah, I, I was in traffic it. last night, and I was yelling it out the window. Like, I was in traffic <laughs> stop, and I was yelling at people that were beside me, and they thought it was crazy. But <laughs> they were like, no, really, that's my band on the radio. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> they didn't believe me, and they just thought I was a lunatic, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> it was awesome. Just, that's the word I'll say. <laughs> It's it's definitely surreal to um, to listen to something that you know you know hundreds of other people are listening to, and then hear you coming back. I think the the thing that's most interesting about it really is hearing what other people that have never heard it before have to say about it. Um, but it's really really cool. This is awesome. Opening for Never Shout Never uh, for two days in Vienna, Virginia, on May fifteenth and sixteenth. It will be um, acoustic, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun. And um, after that, we don't really have anything really booked yet um, confirmed. We we are planning on uh, doing some out of state dates over the summer, but we can't say those yet <laughs> um we have a bunch of we we love doing house shows so we have a bunch of acoustic like house Parties. private house shows booked over the next months or two and we love doing those so we're like really excited about doing a lot of those um but besides the few one-offs and a few tour dates this summer we don't have anything confirmed yet right we're now. working on the, the record right now and trying to um kind of work on a following a really strong following online and then after doing that uh trying to meet everyone uh, by doing these house shows like uh, we we genuinely really do care about every person that takes the time to listen to us every day or tweet at us every day or tell a friend about us um like our our social networking sites have been um <laughs> have been uh, really awesome for us over the past couple of months. We've met a lot of really awesome people on o over these social networking sites and stick cam and, and everything and um, the chance to, the opportunity to meet all these people is kind of like a, a really huge thing for us. So um, we're really busy with that right now, but we are planning on doing more concerts and dates out on the road right now we're just kind of um arranging those and so we really can't say because yeah. it's not in stone and we don't want to look stupid oh we're before the studio um this lovely guy was outside uh, doing what he does and he saw somebody in a window across the street on the second floor because we're on like a saw mask it was really scary. I don't know that it was a saw mask, but it looked like it in the window. I was, we have not disclosed that, that that thing yet. We don't know if it was there or not. And somebody ran into the studio and <laughs> just ran into the studio where we're at and just ran right through it and then ran out. And the police were outside of our studio, front and back, like all around us. And we were like, what the jump? So me and Alan, we're just like, well, Alan's asleep, by the way. I was passed out. Alan, yeah. Alan, Alan and I. Was, no, Alan was asleep. I was asleep, too. I got woken up. But we were told that Alan ran down the street. We thought it wasn't true, and then we ended up locking him we, in a room. We thought. With the potential killer. <laughs> yeah. The thing is that this story doesn't make any sense in real life, and then telling it, it makes even less sense. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was scary. No, it doesn't. Like, it well, bottom line is a friend of ours had lent us a camera and Tanner left it in the live room where we practice recording our, like record, it was our song. activity or something. Yeah, and we didn't know that it was on the whole time. 
And so as we're freaking out, thinking that this guy that I thought I saw in this building was um, was up there, we were walking around the studio to see if he was the, but if this person that I thought I saw was the person in the studio. And as we're, we all have baseball bats, and we're walking around the studio, and we're <laughs> like opener. looking, but yeah, he's walking around the can opener trying to stab sharp. this person with a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as we were like walking through the live room, looking behind amps and stuff, trying to find this this thing or person, um, it was all on tape, I guess. And so when we returned the camera to our friend, we didn't know this. And so a couple of days ago, Ford ran into this friend, and she was like, so were you guys trying to play a joke on me or something? And Ford was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, there was like this like, like hour long thing in the footage where you guys were just walking around with bats and yelling and screaming and you all looked really scared and I figured you were just trying to play a joke on me and Ford was like no that was real we really are <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, that was that was it was scary I really thought that we were gonna die that night. <laughs> Every day, we never ran out of things to say.